Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Carolyn. This is going to be my Shop My Stash for Eyeshadow Pout, specifically for, for October. Um, I just do my eyeshadow palettes because the rest of, I have a bigger collection of eyeshadow palettes, but the rest of my makeup collection just fits all of my vanity, so I don't shop my stash for other makeup products. But um, I like to shop my stash for eyeshadow palettes once a month. So that is what this video is going to be. So if you're interested in seeing what palettes I'm picking out for October, then just keep on watching. Okay, so I did film this eyeshadow look that I'm wearing. I filmed a short, so I will link the short in the description box. And the format I'm going to do for this video is first share with you the palettes that I ended up using. I didn't end up using all the sh palettes that I pulled in for September. And as I'm showing you the palettes that I used in September, I will kind of share which palettes I'm gonna keep in for October and which ones I'm putting away. And then I will share the palettes that I pulled in for September that I didn't use, but that I'm gonna put back. And then we will pick out the palettes for October. Now I only used 10 palettes and I think I pulled in like 25. I want to use as many palettes as possible each month but I know I'm probably not going to use every palette that I pull in but I just want to have it available and like seeing a selection of palettes to use for the month instead of trying to choose a palette to use for the day from my entire eyeshadow palette I can just go in my vanity drawer right literally right here and pick out an eyeshadow palette so it's okay i'm okay with the fact that i didn't use all of the palettes that i brought in but i will just get into the palettes that i did end up using and i will share the looks that i did here i'll start with what i'm wearing now which is the melt 420 and the smoke sessions so this is the smoke sessions there's just two mattes in this and then the rest are shimmers, but, and they're just straight like metallic shimmers, but basically if you can see what I have on, um, they're not like super special shimmers, but I still really enjoy those, the shimmers. And because this goes so well with, I do want to keep in this, the 420 palette and these two pair really well together because this one is primarily shimmers and this one is pretty much all mattes. There is one shimmer, but it's like totally, yeah, I mean, that's, it's, it's pretty much totally hard panned and that's not very much that comes off. I mean, it's just a really weak shimmer. I guess it's usable, but I never use it. <laughs> And I'm not even, I don't even really use my finger for shimmers. I try to always use a brush. So this just hard pans really easy. Uh, but yeah, I, I want to keep this in for October because I feel like I could get really kind of grungy, murky eyeshadow looks from this. And I think that's fun for October. So I'm going to try to keep these two in. I may not have enough room to keep everything in that I want to keep in. So... I'll see how everything fits and I may have to take some other things out, but hopefully everything fits. I used the rust palette, the Meld rust palette a couple times, or maybe it was just once this month. I think it was just once. Um, love this one, fall staple for me. But although this is a fall staple for me and I love it for the fall, I think I might put it back because I might just because I have quite a few palettes that I want to bring in for October because I want to bring in pretty much like all of my Halloween themed palettes. So I think I might put this back and bring it out in November. Uh, just because I don't think I'll have space for everything. Okay, Ina, ugh, this is such a, this is one of my favorite palettes still. Still performs well. I've had it for a few years now but it still performs like when I first got it. I wore this for an event. Oh, I was gonna put the looks out there. I wore this for an event, for an outdoor event where I needed my makeup to last all day and like not crease or 
look weird by the end of the day because I'm gonna be it was out I was outside and it was kind of hot uh, because I live in Florida and the weather hasn't totally cooled down yet and it's a little bit humid and stuff so I was like which eyeshadow palette do I have that I know will hold up and I of course pulled out this one knowing it would hold up and I was right my makeup looked the same at the end of the day as when I first put it on so I just love this palette um, I think I kind of always want to have it in my shop my stash because it's a good comfort palette for me like I know if I need my eyeshadow look to last all day not crease apply like I'm really familiar with this formula like I, I can use it if I'm in a rush so I think I'm just gonna this will probably be in my shop my stash every month <laughs> uh, the cosmic brushes muse palette beautiful I use this one I think I will put this back because I need to make room for other palettes but I really do enjoy this one and I probably will be pulling this back in soon like in November December that kind of thing because I really do enjoy that one the Twilight the Colourpop Twilight palette I used this one once I think this month or yeah today is the 30th that I'm filming so it's still technically September <laughs> so um yeah I used it once this month and I posted up my look on my on Instagram and I said I didn't really like the mattes that much they were muddy and my friend Sparkle Cake Face she is recommended she said that she really actually enjoys this palette and if you're not following Sparkle Cake Face on Instagram you should be because she does the most incredible eye looks makeup looks all of her looks are just fantastic she is amazing at makeup so when she t when she gives me recommendations I take her recommendations so a long time ago she recommended this NYX eyeshadow base uh, in white to me she actually recommended it for this 420 palette which it, it does work really well for if you find these mattes to be like chalky or anything like that um, this works great for it for this palette but it also works great for so many other palettes. I use this all the time honestly because it just makes a really good base for eyeshadows. It's particularly like colored pe eyeshadows, pastels, or ones with finicky formulas and she recommended using the NYX white base with this palette. So I think I'm going to keep this in and try to use it this month with the white base. Because I think it's kind of murky and spooky season appropriate. <laughs> so uh, yeah, I think I'm just going to keep this in. This one I am definitely um, going to put back. This is the Nomad Paradise Islands palette. I kept it in for September because I wanted to use every shade before I put it back in my collection. Because I knew I probably wasn't going to use it again before the year was over. <laughs> So I did end up using every shade in this palette, so I, I have my opinions, so I'm going to put this back. Um, but I think I used it like two different times to make sure that I used every shade in that palette. And then I have the Tiny Marvels palette from Sydney Grace and Mel Thompson. This palette is so pretty. I think I just used this one time. I think I will put it back. Just because I do want to make room for other palettes. If I do have some space, I may try to bring this one in. But I don't really think I will. But we'll see. And then I have the Little Ghost palette from Odin's Eye and Angelica Nikthis from their Halloween collection. And I used this for my 1960s makeup look. It was a collab that I did with my friends from Instagram, Sparkle Cake Face is <laughs> one of them, and then Ms. Moxie May. And I used this palette for that. So I do want to keep this in though because it's a 
Halloween themed palette so I kind of want to keep my Halloween palettes in my shopping stash for October and then last I have my little like dupe palette I made for the Ensley Rain tw Twisted Tea Party I got the empty palette for this and then these are just a mixture of Simply Posh shadows and shadows from the a Saint Saints Angel Sinners palette and yeah it's just a mix mash of mix mash mix mash I don't know it's just a mix of different shadows from different palettes I used this once I know I had to take my a picture in the car because it was right before church and we were in, in a rush and I don't think the picture turned out great because I yeah I had to take it in the car on the way to church so but yeah let's see do I want to keep I think I will put this back for now. Okay, so those are all of the palettes that I ended up using. And then I didn't end up using these three from ColourPop, the Star Wars palettes. The C3PO palette didn't have, I'm gonna put all these back, I think. Mandalorian and The Child. I didn't end up using the Flora Story palette, but I'm going to be putting it back. So yeah, right now I'm just going to go through the palettes that I'm putting back that I didn't end up using. I don't know if I like clarified that. I'm going to put back the Desert Monsoon palette from What's Up Beauty. The Betty Boot palette, Glamlight. And I'm going to put back the Palatopoly palette from Ace Beauté. Okay, I'm going to quickly put back the palettes that I'm going to keep in and then we'll pick out some palettes for my shot my stash okay this is what i have right now to store my other eyeshadow palettes in is just this bin and then these are like maybes if i have space i'll bring those in but let me see which ones I know for sure I want to bring in for October. This one, this is the ColourPop Hocus Pocus 2. Definitely bringing that in. I want to bring in the Nomad Berlin just because it's, I don't know, it's not really Halloween, but it's kind of dark and grungy and... I haven't used it in a while, so bring that in. This I'm bringing in. This is the uh, Sugar Drizzle Gnome Chrome palette. This was uh, decluttered to me from Ms. Moxie May. And it's just all like... Um, shimmer special shadows I definitely want to bring it in because it's Halloween the packaging is adorable the ColourPop witching hour palette hocus pocus I want to bring in this one in I think I'll bring in my Darth Vader, my ColourPop Darth Vader palette because it's dark and it's perfect for just a dark smoky eye or just a dark eyeshadow look. So I think I would enjoy using it in October. Fire and Ice. This is the Nomad Fire and Ice palette. I've been wanting to use it in the fall because of this row here. Yeah, I think I'll bring it in because I also haven't gotten like a ton of use out of it. So I just got it earlier this year and I haven't used it a ton so I think I'll bring this one in. And I want to bring in the Muerte palette. 
um, because I have the Vita one currently in my strap my stash and they pair well together. They're the same. They came out together and they make together, they make a full sugar skull. Um, anyway, I think I'm going to pull this one in and Mount Mary Jane. I love this one so much. It's more of a cool tone palette, but I haven't used it in a while. So I'm going to bring this one in. Okay, so I think that's it. And then I'm right now I'm going to put all these away and see how they fit and then maybe bring those in if I have space. Okay, so this is what my eyeshadow drawer is currently looking like. I think I have enough space for the Melt Rust palette, so I'm gonna go ahead and bring that in. And these are gonna be all the palettes I have in my Shop My Stash for October. So I'm just gonna end this video here. And I hope that you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you taking the time out of your day to watch this video. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.